from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set, getting the nod in this one. Lance Lynn, what's the scouting report on him? He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. Ready to go now? Now it's going to be Pete Crow Armstrong. The center fielder, Pete Crow Armstrong. The wind of the pitch. Misses inside. And that's how he gets started here in Los Angeles. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Here's a one-two. To the right side. Bats up with it. Now the throw to first on the run. Awesome play there. The short side. Christopher Morell. Stepping in the long ball threat, Christopher Morell. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Rojas slings it across. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. That is third. The designated hitter, Jamie Candelario. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Jamer Candelario. In there for strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Cubs are down quietly. The Dodger is coming up, and we are scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And now here's the starter for the Cubs, Justin Steele. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Rube. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So Leading look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at-bat. Mookie Betts in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And the pitch. So two balls and no strikes. Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he's got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. Kicks and deals. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. And that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. First pitch and he just misses. And he deals. That's a little bit low. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. 
Now a screamer into the outfield. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. The relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now J.D. Martinez. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. One run across. Now two runs score. It's 2-0. And he's got a double. Gets him on the board first. Coming through with two RBIs on that swing. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here comes Max Muncy. That misses, and it's one to know. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Next offering is in for a strike. That misses the zone. Two and one. Martinez at second with nobody out. Next one is off the play. Three and one. And there's the strike. Left hand batter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And ball four to a board. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Fly ball down the line. Number 40. Has this one sized up? And there's one down. That is good. The right field. Jason Hayward. Here's Jason Hayward. And ball one to the right fielder. Bell Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. That one finds the corner, and the count one and one. Good eye right there. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. Next offering is foul back. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And a pitch. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Here's Kike Hernandez. Swing and a miss. That's strike one.
Two on, two outs. Fly ball, center field. Nice grab on the run. And the inning is over. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in L.A., top of the second. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole, Alexander Canario. Lynn back to work. Ball one, no strikes. And the slider catches the zone. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. Martinez moves towards it, makes the grab on the run. One up, one down. That is it. The left field. Number 40. Number 40, the next Cub to hit. Lance Lynn, former first-round pick by the Cardinals. He went to Old Miss and was drafted in 2008. And, of course, when he was a rookie in 2011, he helped the Cardinals win a World Series. Next offering upstairs. Broke into the big leagues playing for manager Tony La Russa. And Lynn, just an absolute workhorse on the mound. You know, only four pitchers threw more innings from 2019 to 2021. And he's thrown 200 plus innings several times. That's the type of pitcher every team wants, Boo. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Misses off the play. Three and two now. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Slow roller to first. Freeman He's takes out. it to the bag. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting fifth. The third base is number 16. Patrick. Two outs, base is empty. Wisdom. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. Big-time power. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Wisdom, a former first round pick of the Cardinals back in 2012 from St. Mary's College, same school that produced both Corbin Burns and Tony Gonsolin. Throw on to Freeman, and that'll do it. And the Cubs are down in order. They trail it here, 2 0. Bottom of the second. Here's the veteran outfielder, David Peralta. No left fielder. And a pitch. And that one is inside ball one. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Next pitch misses way outside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Good plate nope. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, Three but so go. much for that. Pretty good pitch, but That's just doesn't get the call on 3-0. Yeah. Man at first, Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one hammered left field back there. And he brings it into the warning track. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. The second base. Mookie. Yeah. Here's Mookie Betts. The walk and a run scored his first time. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. 
he is the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field and now the lefty that clips the corner that's down and in definitely a swing and miss slider down and in he finished that really well just couldn't get him to offer at it. The two on. Yep, that ball went out. Peralta, the base runner at first with one out. And there's ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having now some real out. issues the with control. Freddie. Freddie Freeman Freddy. up to the dish. One for one with a double and a run score. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him scoring. Oh, now this ball gets down. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's three zip. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now it's J.D. Martinez. He drove in two with a double his first time up. Outside. Nope, outside. J.D. Martinez, part of that Red Sox team that won over 100 games in 2018 and won it all. He was one of their top hitters and has had a really good stretch where he's been one of the top sluggers in baseball. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. One ball, one strike. Runners are at the corners. One away. And I think you could credit J.D. Martinez with a lot of the success that that offense had because he took things to another level in terms of his preparation, watching video, paying attention to detail, and his teammates fed off that. And a 1-2. Got him. Now two away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. And now it's even up. One and one. Good eye in that spot. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Here's a 2-1. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And that one almost got him. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Two outs. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Pretty good pitch on 3-2, right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. The batter now will be Will Smith. 0 for 1 so far. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs, bases are full. Next offering is in for a strike. Just oh, off the outside God. part of the plate. It's a good take. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And he dropped it. Base is loaded. Two down. And now the count is even. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six. Oh, he hit him! And that brings home a run! Man, that's tough. You can see him out there working hard to try to get out of that situation, but I just think he tried to do too much.
Hayward batting for the second time and that's strike one big moment in this game two outs two runners in scoring position and could really break this thing wide open early that one not close and it's a ball to strike he's been trying to tease the zone with that slider but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone Next offering upstairs. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And here it comes. Now oh, one close, rule the ball. And now three and one. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Ball four, he's walked in a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Justin Steele done for the night, and he leaves with the bases loaded, so he'll look for some help from his teammate coming in behind him. So they bring on the veteran, Mark Leiter Jr. Now, well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Enrique Hernandez, the next to hit. He's all for one. Hernandez. First offering, and it just misses. Hernandez checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. Muncie on third. Smith over at second. Hayward on at first with two down. Next pitch is outside. Lifted in the air out to left. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So they get three runs in the inning, but they also leave the bases loaded. We play two full. It's the Dodgers five, and the Cubs nothing. Top half of the third inning. So up now for Chicago, Jared Young. Jared Young. The wind and the pitch. Young in his rookie season. 27 years old, and he was born in Canada. And he lays down a bunt, and he picks it up in foul territory. Next offering is down low. Now one and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The one two goes down looking really love the pitch sequence right there I'm telling you what pitcher and catcher on the same page right now Miguel Amaya and now it's Miguel Amaya and that's through there for a strike Two as he waves at that one. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now here is Miles Mastroboni. First offering misses the mark. The wind of the pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. 
Martinez tracks it down for the out. Nine straight retired here to start the game. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodgers five and the Cubs nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the inning. Now the left fielder, David Peralta. The pitch. That's in for a strike. Lighter measures six feet even. He features a two seam fastball, a four seamer, a changeup, a curve, and occasionally uses a cutter. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's one away. The batter number 11. Shortstop. Miguel Rojas at the plate. He flied out to the warning track at his first trip. There's a strike. Ball one there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder yeah, coming that open instead of staying game. closed. Mookie. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Singy Mookie Betts, given name Marcus Lynn Betts, he attributes a nickname from his parents watching Mookie Blaylock play basketball. Yeah, Boog, and the cool coincidence with that name are the initials, MLB. That's right. Zips it to first. That's the third out, inning over. Dodgers go down quietly as they are unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Pete Crow Armstrong. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Righty to the plate. Got it by him for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs that in that location. Well, Hitters, especially Christopher with two strikes, Miguel. have to be ready to pull the trigger. Morell stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The Cubs still looking for their first hit in this one. Next one misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two up, two down. The back at number nine. Designated hitter. Now it'll be the Cubs DH. Jamer Candelario. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Fouled off left side. Two down, nobody on. Not close with that one. And the count one and two. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The one two. 
on the ground right side. Wide throw pulls him off the bag and the inning still alive. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Now it's Alexander Canario. Oh. Ball one low. Ball one, no strike. Top of the zone for a called strike. Candelario leads off first with two down to the inning. The one two. Inside just missed. Lynn with a throw over. Candelario back in on a dive. Two two on the way. Out there to center. Martinez has a beat on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Cubs leave one. It's five nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, and now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie. One of the things you don't think about with Freddie Freeman, he's really good defensively picking over there, but he's got a very good throwing arm. In high school, he could throw 95 plus from the mound. Young steps on the bag, leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The center fielder, number 28, JD. Here is JD Martinez. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. And that is in for a strike. 0 and 1. So the ball really well today. That two seam fastball has got good run on it. Excellent job of moving it around the plate. That one hammered center field. That's back. And that ball is out of here. He'll circle the bases, and they tack on to their lead. It's 6-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and... Just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. And the right hander deals. Ground ball left side. And it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Safe at second. He legs out the double. Back-to-back -back base hits. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want it. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch just misses. Count one and oh. One out and a runner at second. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Crow Armstrong calls it in two away. Up next is Dodgers. The right fielder, Jason. Jason Hayden steps to the plate for the Dodgers.
And a nope. good eye there. Ball one, no strike. Right-handed reliever. Two balls, no strikes to count. Good eye right there. Two outs and one in scoring position. There's a strike, and it's three and one. Runner leads away at second. The right hander no, gives up the two out walk. You get a walk, and you get a walk. The batter. Everyone eight. gets a walk. Boo. Hitter. So two on with two away. And next for LA, Enrique Hernandez. That one the other way. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers add one to their lead on the solo homer. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, number 40. Number 40. Lynn, back to work. That one missed. You know, these Cubs, from what we've seen, I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate. They found themselves behind in the count quite a bit. They're trying to be patient, but it's mostly resulting in outs, not base runners. And you could argue it's making things more difficult at the plate. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Yeah, the 2-1 hammered but foul. And now the count filled up three and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. So a man aboard, Patrick Wisdom, getting ready to hit. Chris, dig oh. this. Patrick Ian Cashel Wisdom. His middle name is Ian Cashel. Ian, Gaelic slash Scottish for John, named after his grandfather John at his dad's side. And then Cashel is a little village in Ireland where his mom's family is from. And the righty deals. And it is two and one. He got to visit in 2019, saw the house where they all grew up, about 45 minutes west of Galway, near Roundstone on Cashel Bay. And his daughter Claire has the same middle name, Cashel. And a swing and a miss. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering is down low. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Brings it in, and there's one down. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Definitely a weird play right there, and it changes the outlook of the inning completely. Nice job by the defense to take advantage and get two outs out of it, but on the flip side, I have to think they're going to have some discussions and probably some lessons learned about the base running decisions that were made. Jared Young digs in now. His first at bat was a strikeout. Ball one, no strikes. And there's a ball. 
So I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Next pitch is popped up. Brings it in for the third out. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Cubs nothing. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Jose Quas. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. David Peralta at the plate. And the pitch. This one smoked out to left. Calls it in, and there's one away. The batter at 11. Shortstop. Miguel. Miguel Rojas will hit next. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Here comes the 0 1. Now oh. one and one. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Number 48 throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Ball to strike. The pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. one. Now there's Who's a certain there? point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Here's Mookie now. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. First pitch, not close. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy oh, come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. And now two and one. And the 2-2. The other way, and he beats the shift. Runner at first with two away. Freddie Freeman, the next to hit. Knocks it down. Center field, number 28, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez stands in. He's already homered here in this one. Talking about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, hey. but he embraces it. And it's one and one. Next offering is outside. Two and one to JD. And that's outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Now Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Man. Base is full, two gone. Muncie. And now it's Max Muncie. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hey, 
And he pumps it a strike. Betts, the runner at third. Freeman on second. Martinez at first, two out of the inning. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And the Dodgers leave him loaded. They lead it, though, 6 zip. Top six. Here's the catcher, Miguel Amaya. Miguel. Amaya measures six feet two inches, 230 pounds, and he was born in Panama. The 0 1. And a 1 1. And that misses off the outside edge. Pitch is in there. It's two and two. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Amaya tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Next to hit, now Miles now. Mastroboni. Glide out his first Miles time. Mastroboni. Slapped foul. And it's even up. That's a little bit low. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two away. Now got it. The center field. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. That clips the zone. One and two. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. The one, two. That's inside. Oh, see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Stays alive. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to kick into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two bagger. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. One's in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. And now the 0-1. 
And a base hit up the middle. Crow Armstrong around third. The throw into second. The tag, and they cut him down going for two. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. So they get one run, two hits, no errors, and no one left on. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Dodgers six, Cubs one. Bottom of the six, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. And the right hander back to work. Foul ball. You know, these Dodgers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not very often you see a box score with a team averaging more than one walk per inning. That's a lot of traffic on the base paths. Now battle. The right they make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Man at first. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Hit on the ground might be two. Slings to second. Can't hang on. The Enrique Hernandez getting ready to hit. A little bit low. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. 2-0. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Pumps in a strike, and now three and one the count. And it's fouled away. Hayward over at first with one away. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And he deals. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So one out with two aboard. Now, David Peralta. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. That one ripped right center field for Armstrong. Ranging back, back some more, and it hops over the wall for an automatic double as a run scores. Well, everyone is thinking, Ed, would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the park? We'll never know, but... They do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Miguel Rojas. And a foul ball. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Ripped on a line. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags for home. In comes the run from third. And they're pulling away up by seven now. And now it's Mookie now Betts, one for two. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch is outside. Oh, 
Way inside, gets out of the way. Pitch misses there, and that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That clips a corner. A rope into right. And that should be extra bases. Peralta coming home. He scores. It's 9-1. Picks himself up in RBI. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Pitcher on now, number 48. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Man at second here with two away. And up next for Los Angeles, Freddie Freeman. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Three runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left. We're through six full. It's the Dodgers nine and the Cubs one. Back here at Chavez Ravine. We go to the top of the seventh. And here's the DH for the Cubs. Jamer Candelario. Lynn back to work. Now one out to right. Hayward makes the grab one down. The white right 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 number four, Alexander. So now Canario. it's the four-hole hitter, Alexander Canario. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Misses outside. And now it's even one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Shelby Miller preparing to come on if needed. Gratterol warming up as well. The 1 1. And a base hit into right. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone Number down the three. middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now the left fielder, number 40. And first offering is fouled off. pitch and fouled off pretty impressive we haven't seen that pitch from him much but he's got a really good feel when he throws it the 0 2 and that's a little high I don't like to say he wasted a pitch I think that was a purpose pitch change the eye level have him look up now go back exactly where you want to go off the plate inside two balls two strikes he's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here I love it And that one a little bit high. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And two away now. The third Patrick Wisdom, the next Patrick. cup to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. 
hammered on a line to the left base hit Canario around second headed for third relay throw home not in time he's safe and a run comes in to score puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI got a fastball middle of the plate jumped all over it absolutely smoked that ball and in scoring position with two away and next for the Cubs Jared Young and a good fastball to start him off at strike one Man on second, two down. Aye. That one finds the corner. No balls, two strikes. And now Big one and ball. two. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Next well, pitch is down. outside. Wisdom on its second with two down. That's off the mark. Full count three and two. Tapped up the first base side and foul ball. Three balls, two strikes the count. And ball four, two aboard. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, number 80. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And now here is Miguel Amaya, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning to come right. into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable first and second two down Swing. that one lifted to left pulls it in on the run and that is the third out of the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Dodgers nine and the Cubs two. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, J.D. Martinez. The pitch. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Action in the pen down there. Adbert Alzali throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Duffy getting loose as well. And the 1 0. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. And a count one and two. Righty delivers. Ball two. And that's awfully two close. I don't know how two you right. take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Hot shot to third. Wisdom on the first. And Martinez is out. The third baseman, number 13, Max Muncy. Max Muncy at the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. 
Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Muncy checks his swing, appeal to third, and James Kingsley says he won a round. That misses, and a count one and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Next offering misses, and the count is two and two. Recognize that change up right out of the hand, just spit on it. On a line, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. One for three. In there, and it's 0-1. Foul ball left side. The 0 2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Oh, and two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a pitch. That's and that's ball. downstairs and outside. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate disciplined to lay off of that pitch. One and two now. That that's one just misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Next one off the plate inside, and it's a full count. That's towards center. Crow Armstrong should have it. Snags it for the second out. The bat, the right field, Jason. And at first, Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Left hand batter waits. This one in the air, right field. Canario sizing this one up, puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. So one hit is all they get. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers nine and the Cubs two. Back here in L.A., we go to the eighth. Now the it's the second baseman, baseman Miles Mastroboni. Mastroboni. The wind and the pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Wait. 
late on that fastball. That one ran inside, almost got him. Right back to him on the mound. Gets it to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Now back the center field. Pete Crow Armstrong. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's the center fielder, Pete Crow Armstrong. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. He's so solid. Calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Right hander kicks deals. One ball, two strikes. And now it's even up. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. The pitch. And another ball. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. And down on strikes he goes. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now bad, huh? And up next the for Chicago, Christopher, Christopher Morell. Morell. Remember Mark Kotze he was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. First offering, and it just misses. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Oh. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one in the air center field. Martinez moves towards it. And that is that. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. They're down seven. It's 9-2. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, the Enrique Hernandez. The designated hitter, DJ Hernandez. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Yep, that ball went out. So hey. now one and two. And now two and two. In the air, left field. Number 40 settles under it. And there's one away. Now back, left field. And next for L.A., David Peralta. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Canario makes the catch. That's out number two. The 
Two outs, bases empty. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch, and he just misses. In there at the knees. Next pitch misses inside. Yeah, that's ball two. the corner at the knees for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch Good way ball, upstairs. Okay. Mookie Betts to bat next. Three two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have okay. a very aggressive secondary second lead. Base. So a ball down the line or an into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Betts stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Rojas, the runner at first with two gone. Close, but called a ball. Two balls, no strikes to count. High chopper to third. They take the force out, and that is the inning. One left for L.A., but they still lead it 9-2. All set for the start of the inning. And now the D.H., Jamer Candelario. Jamer Candelario. The wind of the pitch. And a strike. And it's one and one. That's inside. Now a check swing, but he held up. That smash towards center. Martinez makes the grab, and there's one down. Stepping in, Alexander Canario. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. Nope, he held back. The 1-0. And a foul ball. Here's a 1-1. Two balls, one strike. Just oh, missed. Good. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. Man at first with one gone. Here's the left fielder, number 40, 
A strikeout and a walk. Swing and a grounder foul first base side. Strike two. Riding to the plate. And ball one. And that one moves his feet. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Foot slider ties him up, struck him out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider, no, no, no. tried to sit in no, between, no, just not no, able no, to no. put the bat on the ball. Wisdom. So up now for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. There's the strike up high. It's 0 oh, 1. Two outs. And it's even up. Really good run. Perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. A little bit high, maybe. Now two balls and a strike. There's a strike. Hard ground ball, base knock. Canario, round second on his way to third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Jared Young, the next Cub to hit. First pitch, just misses. Corners are occupied with two down. And there's the strike. One and one. Two on, two outs. That Back one missed. Two. Two, one. And a swing and a miss. Two That one missing inside. Got him. And that is the ball game. Offensive explosion today for these guys. They gave up a few runs, but they had more than enough firepower to turn this one into a blowout. This one ends the final 9-2. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.